a long time ago. It's about two brothers, Kasim and Ali Baba. Kasim is a rich man, but Ali Baba is a poor woodcutter. He has to work very hard to take care of his wife and three children. Wife, Ali Baba, there isn't any food. What are we going to eat? Ali Baba, don't worry. I'm going to the forest to cut some more wood. We're going to sell it at the market. Ali Baba takes his axe and two big bags and goes to the forest. As he is cutting wood, he sees a cloud of dust far away. It is moving closer. Ali Baba, what's that cloud? Oh, it isn't a cloud, it's men on horses. I must hide. Ali climbs a tree, and soon after, forty men appear. They are riding horses and are carrying bags. The bags are full of treasure. Ali Baba, I hope they don't see me. What are they doing here? Going to sell it at the market. The captain of the thieves now stands in front of a big rock. He raises his arms and says some words. Captain, open, sesame. The rock suddenly opens. There is a cave behind it. The thieves take their bags into the cave. The thieves go in and the rock closes behind them. Ali Baba is very afraid and he stays in the tree. Some time later, the rock opens again. Ali Baba, oh, there they are again. Where are their bags? The captain of the thieves stands in front of the rock again. He says some different words now and the rock closes. Captain, close, sesame. The thieves leave and Ali Baba is safe again. He climbs down and goes in front of the rock. He raises his arms like the captain and says the magic words. Ali Baba, open, sesame. Ali Baba walks inside the cave. There is gold everywhere. And jewels and silk. Ali Baba, oh, there's so much gold here. This is fantastic. So, he fills his bags and goes home. Back home, Ali Baba puts his bags on the table. But his wife is angry. Wife, what are you doing here, Ali Baba? You must go to the market to sell the wood. Ali Baba, no, I don't have to. Look here. Ali Baba shows his wife the gold. She cannot believe her eyes. Wife, Ali Baba. Where did you find all this gold? At that moment, Kasim and his wife suddenly arrive for a visit. Ali Baba and his wife are surprised. There isn't time to hide the treasure. Kasim's wife, Kasim, look. Where did you find all this gold, Ali Baba? Everyone wants to hear Ali Baba's story. So, he tells them his secret. Ali Baba, the treasure is in a cave in the forest. But a big rock hides the cave. Kasim, I want some gold, too. Tell me more about this cave. Ali Baba, you must say, open, sesame, to go in and, close, sesame, after you go out. That's all. But be careful, Kasim. The thieves shouldn't find you there. The next morning, Kasim goes to the forest. He stands in front of the rock and says the words. The rock opens. Kasim, open, sesame. Kasim goes into the cave and the rock closes behind him. But he doesn't care. The gold and the jewels shine brightly. Kasim, wow. There's so much gold. I'm going to fill these bags and then come back for more. Kasim starts working hard. He fills his bags and sings happily. 
Kasim. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm so rich. I'm the richest man in town. I'm the richest of the rich. Kasim's bags are full now and he's ready to leave the cave. Kasim, now, what were the magic words? He tries and tries, but he can't remember the words. The rock is closed. Ali Baba and his family are having dinner. There is a knock on the door and Kasim's wife comes in. She is very upset. Ali Baba, what's the matter? Kasim's wife, Ali Baba, I'm very worried about Kasim. Kasim's wife starts crying. Ali Baba gets up from the table and goes to her. Kasim's wife, Kasim left for the forest early in the morning and he's not back yet. Ali Baba, I know where he is. I'm going to the forest to find him. Ali Baba goes to the cave. There, he discovers his brother, dead. The thieves found Kasim and killed him. Ali Baba takes his brother's body back home. Morgiana, Kasim's servant, helps him take care of everything. Ali Baba, Morgiana, we must keep this a secret. And we are going to move into Kasim's house now. His wife is going to need our help. Morgiana, as you wish, master. When the thieves return to the cave, Kasim's body isn't there. The captain is very angry. Captain, somebody else knows our secret. We must find him. Thief, let's go back to town to look for him. Before long, the thieves discover Ali Baba's home. The captain dresses as an oil merchant and his men hide in oil jars. Then, they go to Kasim's house. Captain, I am an oil merchant and I come from far away. I'm very tired. Can I stay here for the night? Ali Baba, of course, you're very welcome. Come in. Ali Baba shows the captain to his room. The other thieves wait for his signal to get in the house and kill Ali Baba. But Morgiana discovers their plan and tells her master. Morgiana, I went to get some oil from the oil jars and I discovered there were 39 thieves inside them. They plan to kill you, master. But don't worry. They cannot hurt you now. Ali Baba, why? What did you do? Morgiana takes Ali Baba to the yard and shows him. She poured boiling oil on the thieves and killed them. The captain is looking from his window. He is very angry. Captain, oh, no. They know everything and my men are dead. Ali Baba must pay for this. But now I must escape. A few days later, the captain returns to Kasim's house. Now he is dressed as a silk merchant. He is wearing a fake beard and Ali Baba doesn't recognize him. He shows Ali Baba his silk and he plans to kill him. But Morgiana recognizes him at once. Morgiana, I know who you are, thief. Take this and don't come back. Ali Baba, thank you, Morgiana. For what you did for us, you are no longer a servant. You are going to marry my son and be a member of our family.